So Vortex Mod Manager is a super powerful tool for modding basically hundreds of games, I think, at this point. All the Fallout series, Skyrim series, Witcher series, just to name a few. And in today's video, we're going to be modding Fallout 4 using it. Uh, I'm going to walk through installing it through Lutris, manually setting like the search folders because obviously it's inside a wine bottle and we need to get outside and discover all our games and mod them using it. And we're going to go into that and then go in and activate the mods and play the game. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to the desktop right now to show you all of this. Okay, to start out here, we need to go to Lutris.net and search for Vortex Mod Manager. If you look at my title bar here, this is the actual, the actual address for it. Uh, just go here and then you just need to click install from here. Wine will prompt you to install the program and you just hit next and let it go. It does take a little bit on my machine. It took almost about five minutes just because of all the .NET requirements for Vortex, it does take a long time to install through Lutris. With this installed, go ahead and pull up Lutris and then on Mod Manager or Vortex Mod Manager, go ahead and hit play. With this, it should go ahead and launch into Vortex Mod Manager. You might get an error message on startup saying it can't find anything and that is okay. That is a normal error because this is running on a virtual machine and it just can't find anything, like can't query system drives. And we're gonna fix this. Now you won't see any games by default. We need to add those. To add them, go to settings on the left-hand side, go over to games, add search directory, and then go to my computer, um, click on the Z drive, and then you need to pick out your Steam library. So let's go to mine. Uh, I have mine on a just separate folder. Mine's a little bit different here. So there's my Steam library folder, Steam apps, common, and then there's all my games in Steam. So let's go ahead and open that. From here, we've added the search directory. We can actually go ahead and do a full scan. So if you click dashboard and then scan for missing games. So we go ahead and click that and the discovery will go through and pick up any games that you're missing. So if we go into games, it'll say, one, I've already managed this one and added it, but under discovered, it said, hey, I have Witcher 3, I have Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3, which I have all three of these games installed right now. That's what it found it, but it supports so much more. But with that search folder, it can now find them from your dashboard, which is pretty sweet. Also, if you need to rerun the scan instead of going through the dashboard, you can also do it from the games tab here just by going scan and then doing a quick, and if it still doesn't find it, you can do the full. However, most time full is overkill. So from here, we have Fallout. However, it doesn't work quite the same as Windows. As with anything in Wine, there's a couple little tricks that you need to know about. So let's go ahead and pop back over here. Now let's pretend we are gonna download this specific file. On Windows, you'd go to your mod and go, I want Vivid Fallout all in one. What a great mod and then you'd click Vortex and it'd go ahead and pop up and link up with your Vortex application. However, that is not the case here. Here you have to manually go over and hit manual download and download the zip file. From there, you'd have to go into the downloads and then pull up Vortex as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go into our managed game by clicking mods and then you'll see right here, right now, the managed game where you have is Fallout 4, so we can click mods and then just drag and drop what we need. So Vivid is what we have. You already see the unofficial Fallout patch there, so that's good. I'll go ahead and minimize this and we'll go ahead and maximize this. So with this, you'll see we've now dragged and dropped that tar file or that uh, zip file in here. We'll go ahead and hit install and it go ahead and install it into our directory. With that installed, we just simply hit enable and deploy. And now that is deployed into our Fallout 4. So with this, we can go ahead and launch Fallout 4 by simply launching it through Steam, which we're about to do right now. We'll hit play. And if we go to load order under our mods, you'll see the two are right here. 
So we're good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and you can enable both of these from this menu. And from here, we are pretty much good to go. Let's go ahead and go back and back. And it'll go ahead and reload the save files. Let's do load and we'll do this quick save here. All right, here we go. So we have the unofficial patch and a bunch of vivid files. And we live in other A texture pack, so. It actually uh, makes everything a little bit better as far as that goes. The default textures from from Bethesda just stink. They're just horrible. But with this texture pack, it is actually really, really nice. So we can easily kind of go around and, and mess around and do all this. It's uh, pretty sweet. But uh, with that, um, let's go ahead and quit out. Also, when quitting out Fallout 4, one thing I didn't mention, when doing it through Wine, make sure you quit to the main menu. From here, you can actually exit. If you exit to desktop directly from in-game, uh, it'll lock up the process, and you have to go through the task manager in your Linux install and kill the process manually that way. So there you have it. That was Vortex Mod Manager using Fallout 4 as a sample modded game. Uh, pretty awesome. I've actually gone back in after this video and did like Achievement Unlocker and some other things that were a little more obscure and they worked very well. So no problems there either. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any issues and a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, these videos would not be possible. And I'll see you on the next video.